I've been driving a Yaris on track for a number of years, but I've only ever done track days, never wheel-to-wheel racing. That is until some friends of mine called me for a special event this weekend. So I'm here at Button Willow again driving a Yaris, only this time it's a little different. This weekend, I'll be driving this Yaris in the 24 Hours of Lemons. Now, from the name, you'd assume this is going to be a 24-hour race in a lemon. So naturally, we're going to do 14 hours of racing against Civics, Miatas, Porsches, and a very rusty Chevy Bonneville. Lemons is its own weird place. Yes, there are plenty of rules, but if your goal is to have fun more than to win, you're in the right place. Um, if you're wondering what kind of weekend this is going to be, the track's been open for an hour, and I've already had to push a uh, Ford Probe uh, out of the uh, cold pits. So, uh, you know, it's, it's about camaraderie. It's not about finishing first, it's about finishing. Uh, and we're all here to do that. So, uh, I'm excited. So because this is wheel to wheel racing, it's very different from a normal track day. And the most important difference is safety. I'll need a full fire suit with gloves, shoes, and helmet, and a Hans device in order to get on track. On the prep day, we get fully suited up and have the Lemmings judges check us over to make sure that we're safe. Everything we're wearing needs to be SFI approved for us to be given the okay. And it's not just what I'm wearing that's different, the car has to be different as well. So there's a couple things that make this different from my Yaris. One is it's got a cage. Now this is required for the race series because this is wheel to wheel racing. So if people bump into each other, you might roll, you're much more likely to roll in wheel to wheel racing than you are in time attack. So this requires a full cage. This is got anti intrusion bars on the doors and uh, just all in all safer. It also stiffens up the car a decent amount. It adds more weight, yes, but the car should in theory be a lot stiffer because the chassis can't flex. This also has a fire suppression system. There's a tab that I can pull and it will put out a fire in the engine bay or a fire in here. There's nozzles for that. I am not going to demonstrate that for you. This has also got an emergency shutoff so we can kill power uh, if something goes wrong. Power can also be killed by a marshal if the driver is unconscious for any reason. We've got a six point harness, so I can uh, you know, be locked into the seat a little bit more. But apart from that, the car is actually pretty stock. The idea is to race a car that is as cheap as you possibly can. Safety mods, they don't count. The cage is free to add. Any of the driver comfort stuff is free to add. Power mods are where they actually start to care here. And uh, I have a few power mods, I have a few suspension mods, I have stuff that is making the car faster that Ian is not allowed to put on this car. Or he is, but it costs him laps. And there are very few mods that are worth the laps that you lose. So it's all about just racing the cheapest car uh, you possibly can. As people check their cars in for the prep day, I started to get an idea of what Lemon was all about. Some people had themes, some people had liveries, and some people had cars that were just weird. Okay, it's race day. We're all getting ready. I'm hoping I can go out for the first stint because that's a lot of people kind of getting familiar with the track and uh, I can get a little more familiar with the car in the first stint, but that's still a two hour stint, which is four times longer than I've ever driven uh, because, you know, sessions are 20 minutes, maybe half an hour uh, for a normal track day. Uh, and I've never done it in a fire suit. I've never done it with, uh, you know, all the stuff that I need to wear, so it's it's gonna be draining. Um, we're running eight hours today and another six hours tomorrow, I believe. So, um, we're, we have four drivers, we're all gonna do a stint today and then we're gonna divide it up tomorrow. But we're basically gonna fill up the car 
full to the brim with gas and more or less drive it till it runs out. It's kind of how this is parting out. So we'll see how it goes. Morning okay. team. Sleep well? Okay. Good enough. I don't have to drive, so. That's true. <laughs> You're the yeah. guys who have to sleep. So there I was setting out for my first wheel-to-wheel -wheel race in a car I literally hadn't driven before, ever. And it didn't take long before I found myself in racing traffic. Having only been in point-by sessions my entire track career, this was very intimidating and I was definitely too timid going in. But after a while, I finally got my first legitimate racing pass. some pretty straightforward rules. If you go off track, you pass under yellow, or do anything unsafe, you get a black flag. The first few are warnings, and after that, they start handing out penalties. Since I'd gone off track and I'd accidentally passed under a yellow, I had already racked up two for the team. So I decided to end my stint a couple minutes early and let somebody else drive before I got us kicked out. How's the cool suit? Is it working? <laughs> So Tiernan went out to start his stint, but about five minutes later... Uh, okay, so Tiernan also got a black flag for passing under yellow in like the first lap. Um, so two penalties like that, that close together, plus my four off earlier, uh, means that we have a 20 minute penalty. We gotta park the car for 20 minutes, uh, and we got, a, we got a Bob Ross penalty. Those of you very familiar with racecraft know that a Bob Ross penalty means that you have to paint something on your car that shows how you fucked up. It's lemons. Lemons is about chilling out and having fun, and it being an endurance race actually lends to that. Yes, you want to go as fast as possible, but if you're two seconds a lap faster than your nearest competitor over a two hour stint, you're still on the same lap by the end of that two hours. Where time can really be lost and gained is in pit stops, reliability, and penalties. If you're spending more time in the pits than you are on track, other people can do more laps than you. Ian's car has been pretty competitive in C-Class, but this weekend we had been bumped up to B-Class, which has some very well-sorted teams, so we knew that this time we were just here to have fun. So Mike, what's the secret to driving ARs quick? Uh, there's no middle pedal. No middle pedal and uh, drift because it's got rear wheel drive, the drift race. Smoke them. Okay, you're good. That works pretty well.
After our penalty, we really started to get into a rhythm. The day was going really well. We even started to win some drag races. But pretty soon, our fun came to an end. Uh, it was just the four off. It was the fourth penalty. Cool, cool. No problem. Well, I had him. I was side by side with him. He just kept pushing me in. And then finally, he gave me a point by. I don't know if he gave me a point by or not, but I went over the top of the hill and he just started to go off on the left. And so then he overbraked, turned in like this. I was coming like this. So I just, just drove, gently drove off the track yeah. and drove back in. It was no big deal. I think I solved the mystery of the sunglasses. No. Oh. So yeah, let's take a look at the car. That's where your sunglasses are? My sunglasses. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why these felt so weird. I was like, yeah, they don't yeah. feel right. No, no, it's like looking at me with my sunglasses. I'm like, where the fuck did my sunglasses? Like, there's Danny's, which look a lot like mine. <laughs> so this car is not going anywhere for the next two hours. Um, that'll give us uh, about an hour at the end of the day uh, for maybe Tiernan or myself to uh, jump back in the car. But uh, yeah, for now, we're just going to check it over and uh, make sure it's good to go out. So for the next two hours, we knew we weren't going to be doing much. We checked over the car, changed tires, and then went to go watch some racing. Since we weren't really trying to win, a penalty like this doesn't really ruin the weekend. And the people on track weren't lapping us as much as we thought. A full course red came out, meaning that all racing had to stop for a little bit. And by the time we were finally allowed to go out again, the sun had begun to set. Mike was lapping the car incredibly quickly. At the corner I was sitting at, I saw him pass someone almost every time. Until one time, he uh, didn't show up. It turns out Mike had been underfueled and he ran out of gas five minutes before the checkered flag. He was almost at the last corner and maybe could have coasted it in, but unfortunately, he had to wait and get towed off the track. Alrighty, day two. So since Tiernan only got a few laps yesterday, he's gonna go out first uh, in just a little bit, and then I'm gonna join in after. aggressive with my passing and I was much more consistent on my lap time. There's still a couple corners that I'm really struggling to get right on this track, particularly the second gear hairpins. And over the course of two hours, if you continue to get those wrong without any mechanical sympathy, you're gonna do some damage to the tires. Oh! Fuck. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah! Yeah, that's no good. This is what happens when you make a mistake and panic trying to dig yourself out of the problem. If I hadn't done that, this tire could have survived many more sessions. Okay, I just finished my last stint. We have Danny in the car now. He's gonna be out for about an hour and a half, and then Mike is gonna finish off the day. So uh, I'm gonna go check out, make sure uh, everything goes right with their uh, sessions, and then, and then that'll be it.
Okay, so that is the end of our weekend at Lemons at Button Willow. Uh, I learned some things this weekend. Some things about wheel-to-wheel -wheel driving, some things about what a Yaris can be, uh, some things about where my Yaris is really good for me. Um, this Yaris has a much better shifter, a much, much better shifter. And they say it's a terrible shifter, which means mine is really bad. So that's got to get fixed. The Corolla calipers on this definitely change the pedal feel. I have those Corolla calipers. I was planning on putting them on. I'm not sure if I want to after this. I think that I can feel what's going on with the brakes and tires better on my Yaris than this. I also pretty severely destroyed some tires um, from just being overzealous. Wheel-to-wheel -wheel driving is, is fun. It gives me hope for when I move away from point-by stuff at track days and into open passing. Am I gonna do this again? I hope so. Uh, this was really fun. The team is based out of NorCal, so there's not a lot of SoCal races uh, for this little Yaris. But uh, whenever there are, I'll be around. After this, I think coming back to Button Willow with my car is going to be very different. For the TRD series, they're coming back to Button Willow again this year, so I'm gonna have to do an extra track day. They're going up to Sonoma. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it up to Sonoma. If I can't go up to Sonoma, maybe what I need to do is come back to Button Willow and do a track day here. Who knows? I'm not sure yet uh, what the plan is. All I can say is that you'll find out what the plan is when I make another video.